So the first card you've got over here is go back to the basics. So you might need to go back and review everything you've done and come up with a new plan. Uh, so it's it's important for you to review whatever you've done in the past. Go back to basics. Uh, keep everything simple. That's always the best policy. And uh, make up new plans. You've got the dagger over here. So there's fear, worries, and tension and a tense situation. So there's some kind of situation that you do need to go back to basics for. It's causing a lot of worry for you and you're afraid that things might not work out as well. You could be dealing with a very toxic person as well. Maybe there's some kind of circumstance going on where people are stabbing you in the back there. Uh, but you need to go back and review the situation in order for you to come up with a good solution. You've got the whale over here. So you're a great worry over nothing. So you are worried about whatever this new situation is. And uh, it's always good to, to make a plan. Uh, and it allows you to see things very clearly as well. And also do something, uh, you know, make a list of pros and cons. That's also is a good way to, uh, you know, take out all the emotion from the situation and review things uh, from a very logical point of view. It dispels the fear and the worry. In the past, you've got the valley over here. So deep personal strength and peace that uh, assure success. So you have been, uh, you know, getting a little bit more focused and uh, you've been uh, reaching a, uh, a lot more balance in your life as well. You've been drawing a lot on your personal strength over there. Uh, you've got the pig over here, which says beware of greed. So it could be people expecting too much out of you or you expecting too much out of the situation. So there is that need uh, for you to center yourself, focus, and also have a more realistic view about how you, um, you what you expect out of a situation. Going into the future, you've got the grasshopper card, which says situations in balance that require careful handling. So whatever this is, you need to tread very, very carefully uh, in order for you to sort things through. And the last card is the wishbone card, which says a wish is granted. So, uh, you know, whatever you're hoping for will come to pass. Uh, it looks like wishes are going to be fulfilled over here. So just hang in there and make sure you review the situation very carefully. Go back to basics uh, and try not to be too scared about doing things. Don't let uh, fear cloud your judgment in whatever it is you're doing. So those are the energies for that week. So at the bottom of the deck, you've got the Ace of Swords, the Eight of Pentacles. You've got the uh, Four of Staves over here with the Five of Staves. So it seems like there was a lot of competition for whatever it is you were vying for. So if you were going for a job situation, a new job, it looks like a lot of people seem to have been applying for the same thing. Uh, it also seems like if it if you're already in a job situation, um, you know, there might have been uh, a lot of people also... Um, being very competitive, uh, a lot of problems with the people that you're working with as well. There's a lot of discord going on around you. Uh, maybe people not agreeing uh, with anything you've got to say as well, and you're having to fight your way to get your uh, your viewpoint heard. You certainly are putting a lot of work and effort into this project that you're doing or into this work. You're learning a lot on the job as well. So, uh, you know, money is coming in as well with that uh, job that you're doing. But it's it's there's a, a lot of there's a sharp learning curve that's coming in with this job. Um, there's stability as well. Um, so maybe whatever you're doing is producing success because this is the card of success, the four of stave. And it's also about, you know, you working with groups of people or uh, working in a team of people. And uh, maybe this is why this discord is coming in with this uh, five of staves, maybe not maybe all of you all are not quite agreeing with with things that are going on over there so there are a little bit of there are a few problems that are going on over there but you are you know you're um you are very focused and you are um carrying on regardless of what is going on you're putting your your effort into it there will be victory on your side because there's a breakthrough that comes in. So whatever these problems are, will get sorted out, will get ironed out because the, this card, uh, you know, you need to speak very clearly, make your uh, opinions known and heard by everybody else. Uh, and, you know, you need to stand your ground as well. So this is the, the sort of truth coming in. And you can see there's the crown, that's the victory. So you will be successful. You will be victorious in whatever this battle is that you're facing. You have all the knowledge uh, in your you know, behind you to back you up. Uh, and there is success coming in over there, but you need to be, uh, you know, really um, shine forth as being somebody who knows exactly what they're 
on about or what they're talking about and you know you know you need to know your your um your stuff your information at the back of your hand really um and speak your truth you need to say whatever it is um but there will be success with that ace of swords there's that breakthrough coming in over there um You've got a brand new beginning over here with the Ace of uh, Vessels. So this could be even new study that comes in over there. And uh, there could be some world travel coming in. So you could be relocating, really, to do your job uh, overseas uh, with that world card and the Ace of Cups. So making a brand new start, you could be even buying a home overseas over there with that Ace of Vessels. Um, whatever this is, you know, you could even be taking on some kind of teaching role where you are uh, training up people on that overseas front, getting your 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 message across to the world, really. But you're starting something brand new there. The, um, the world shows that you're ending a cycle, but starting something brand new with that Ace of Vessels. And it's going to bring you a lot of satisfaction, um, you know, and um, it's going to bring you a lot of emotional stability as well. <coughs> Excuse me. You've got the um, seven of vessels over here, which shows that you know you have been going through a period of uh, indecisiveness, uh, maybe procrastinating a little bit too much there. Uh, so you need to pick something that you want to do and stick to that. So uh, you know don't get yourself all over the place. Uh, there was a need for you to do that, um, and you seem to have started something brand new. So maybe this is the reason why there's been so much of competition, and you know the energy seems a bit. Um, it doesn't seem very settled as well. And this is, you know, the settling in period. So you may have started a new career path. You can see there's a new pathway, brand new pathway starting over there and new money coming in as well. Um, so um, this has caused a little bit of discord. This old cycle has ended. Maybe this new job is something to do with world travel. Um, and it's, you know, it's something that's going to make you pretty happy as well. There might be some learning as well, some kind of training that's attached to this new job that you've started. You've got the Ace of Staves over there. So this is also about new projects that you are undertaking at the moment. And you might be a little bit worried about that. Uh, and maybe this is, is causing a bit of uh, confusion for you there. So, um, you know, you're starting something. It seems like everything's starting brand new for you here. This new cycle is starting now for you. You've got that Ace of so uh, Staves over there. You've got the ace of vessels as well as the ace of pentacles so this is a brand new job maybe in a different country and you're starting off afresh and you're having a settling in period at the moment and you've got the ace of swords you've got all the aces over here so this is like the beginning of a brand new cycle for you there and uh you know new starts always lead to a bit of uh confusion always lead to a bit of instability that will settle down soon enough you've got the ten of vessels so you it seems like you have started something brand new possibly in a new country or away from uh an old uh, situation because you've got the ten of vessels which is the ten of cups so you've left behind old friends uh people that you used to know for a long time and you're starting afresh somewhere else so if this isn't happen this will be happening for you um where you have to cut ties with people that you've known for a long time emotional ties make, maybe making new friends but leaving behind uh, old friendships behind and starting brand new there um, you got the justice card and that's what you're going through at the moment you're trying to get your balance back again but also uh, it seems like you know you may have been signing new contracts uh, legal documents at the moment and hence the justice card make sure that you're reading all reading all fine print I always say um, and uh, you know that you are in the know about everything before you sign anything but there's some kind of decision as well that you have to make uh, with regards to whatever you're signing at the moment so be very careful seek advice if you need to when you're under you know doing these legal uh dealing with legal issues there could be a justice um issue that you're dealing with as well and maybe you're waiting for some kind of decision to come in as well with regards to that but for all intents and purposes this might be new contracts that you are going to be signing soon you've got the nine of vessels over here which is an excellent card this is showing wish fulfillment so whatever you've been vying for you're getting it so this could be the dream job that you've always waited for and this is now coming to you and um you're going to be meeting a lot of new people, making a lot more friends. So even though you have the Ten of Vessels or the Ten of Cups with where you've ended, uh, you know, relationships with people or you're having to move on from old friendships it looks like a lot more people are coming in a lot more recognition for whatever you're doing and you're going to be very very happy 
uh, in this new situation that is coming through for you. So once things settle down, uh, you know, things are, are going to be much smoother. You've got that Six of Swords, and as you can see, going away from difficult situations into a brand new situation, but uh, it's calmer, it's better, it's um, there's less stress that will be involved uh, in the situation. Now, going into the future and the final outcome, you've got that nine uh, Knight of Staves over here, uh, the Judgment card, and the Queen of Staves. So the Knight of Staves showing that, you know, there's possibly overseas travel, uh, you know, going down a new career path and it's possibly on the overseas front. The Knight of Rods is about moving and traveling and doing your work in a new country or dealing with people on that international front. And, you know, you're going to have a lot of travel that's associated with this job as well. The Judgment card is showing that you're making a brand new start somewhere else. You've changed direction uh, in your career, in your life path as well. So this could be uh, maybe a, a change and going overseas and starting something else somewhere else. So it's very different from what you've always been doing. You're making a fresh start somewhere else and you're being called upon to do that by the divine itself. So this is a change in direction in your life path and possibly working overseas there. The Queen of Staves shows that, you know, uh, you know, a lot of people admiring you, uh, you're, you're going to be, um, you know, handling a lot of international projects as well with that Queen of Staves. There's a lot of uh, travel that is coming in. And, uh, you know, you're somebody that people find very attractive, that they can relate to. And, um, you know, you're very dynamic as well. And also this position is one of authority, but you will be very hands-on. You can see she's carrying the staves. There might be a lot more responsibility that you will be undertaking as well. But uh, there's a lot more travel uh, coming in there for you as well. So it seems like you're making a fresh start. You're leaving the old behind behind because you've got all the aces there and you're going to make a fresh start uh somewhere else and you know you're making going to be making new friends as well have making new social contacts this new job is going to be very satisfying for you and it's going to be something that you know you've been waiting for for a long time as well so i'm drawing some cards from the um wolf pack and the first card is fulfillment all your hopes and dreams have now come true. Total success in your life and you have earned the success. Your diligence and hard work is now being rewarded a feeling of accomplishment. So there you go. The fulfillment card is like the nine of vessels or the nine of cups. And it seems like everything you want is coming into your arena right now. So all that hard work is starting to pay off. You're at the crossroads in your life, which is the same as that judgment card over there. So um, you're at the crossroads in your life. The choices you make must be practical and not based on emotions and you are not at a dead end you are free to choose any direction uh, you wish to go in so you can see the judgment card is calling you to make that decision being at the crossroads in your life and here you are you've got the crossroads card so you're about to make this big change uh, in your life it's very different from what you were doing in the past and it's going to be a successful outcome You've got the waste card, so it says you cannot afford to create waste in your life. Take nothing for granted because uh, you could experience sudden famine due to carelessness. So be careful. So don't overspend, overindulge in any sort of waste. Still watch those finances and make sure you're, you're doing things very carefully. Uh, even though the roads are opening and you've got a lot of aces, but you still need to be a little bit cautious when you're handling the situation right now until you're, you're quite settled. So you've got the six of Raphael, and this is from the Archangel Power Tarot, which says embrace your inner child, new friends, rekindled relationships, childhood or children. So it looks like you know, you're starting a brand new, you will be making some really good friends uh, in this new situation that you are in. So that is coming in for you. You've got the four of Ariel, which says when you give, you also receive being resistant to change. Now, being a fixed sign, uh, you know, us fixed signs are really, we don't like change in a hurry. So that might be that you're dragging your feet a little bit. Uh, with the Four of Air, which is the Four of Pentacle, um, you know, there is a need for you to uh, not to keep to yourself, but to open yourself up to new relationships that come your way. This is also that you are going to be able to establish your security. And, uh, you know, you're going to be able to accumulate finances and um, establish, um, you know, your own personal growth uh, financially, um, you know, emotionally with this card. So stability coming in there for you. 
you. And the final card is Change Your Life, a sudden revelation that offers freedom, break free from procrastination, embrace the opportunities that change brings. So don't be resistant to change. Um, you know, you need to embrace it and go with the flow. Uh, so try not to hang on to things too much with that four of aerial and embrace any kind of change that comes. If there's new friendships coming in, embrace that as well, because this change is important. Uh, you know, you're about to step out into the world right now and step out into something big and don't uh, let the past hold you back. Uh, be open to change.